Hi Smarties, Miss Failing here with your science lesson for today. Um, last week, if you didn't catch the videos from last week, make sure you check them out. We are learning about space in science. And we learned about the sun last week and we added a page to our space book about the sun. And then we also learned about the moon and we added a moon page. Um, today, we are going to focus on the phases of the moon, okay? So if you look up into the sky, you'll notice that the moon changes every single night. Now, it changes just a little bit, so it might not be something you can notice with your eye, but you will notice that the moon grows with the amount of light you can see, and then the amount of the moon you can see shrinks down. And there's two vocabulary words that you're going to learn. Okay? Waxing, waning. Waxing, and you can do it with me. Waning. Okay? I want you to keep those um, vocabulary words in the back of your brain. Okay? Because you're going to watch um, a clip here, a video um, uh, from Astronomy and Space for Kids about the phases of the moon. Why does the moon have different phases? How does it change? What makes the light? And we kind of talked about that last week. What produces the light for the moon? Does it make its own light? Mm, what makes the light for the moon? Um, and then I have a really, I have another video, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna save that for a surprise, the fun one. Um, so, we are doing phases of the moon today. I just want you, this is a just listen. Listen and kind of take it all in. Um, keep some facts in your pocket. You don't have, we're not adding to our space book. I just want you to listen to the, about the phases of the moon. And then on Wednesday, we're going to be doing a fun project with the phases of the moon. And it has to do with Oreos. Ooh, so excited. Oreos are my favorite. So on Wednesday, so you got to really pay attention to the phases of the moon. And then on Wednesday, we have a project for the phases of the moon. So enough of me talking. I'm going to turn you to the other computer screen so you can see the video um, on phases of the moon. And then we'll go from there. There you go. Okay, here we go. It's the brightest and most noticeable object in the night sky. But if you spend much time observing it, you will see that the moon is never quite the same from one night to the next. The moon has something we call phases, which means that it appears to change shape a little bit every night. To understand why this happens, we need to talk a little bit about the way the Earth and the Moon move together in space. The Moon orbits around the Earth, much like the Earth orbits around the Sun. However, while the Earth takes about 365 days to travel once around the Sun, one year, the Moon completes its orbit around the Earth in only 29 and a half days, or about one month. That's actually where the idea of months came from, the time it takes for the moon to complete one orbit around the Earth. And the words moon and month come from the same root. Despite how bright it looks in the sky, the moon does not have any light of its own. It only appears to shine brightly in the sky because light from the sun hits it and bounces off. Just like the Earth, the moon has a day side and a night side with half of it in sunlight and half of it in darkness at any one time. As the moon travels through its orbit around the Earth, that dividing line between day and night, called the Terminator, is visible from different angles, giving the impression that different amounts of the moon are lit up on different days. The cycle of lunar phases begins with the new moon. At new moon, the moon appears completely dark because the unlit side is facing the Earth. New moon is the only time in the lunar cycle when a solar eclipse could happen because it is the only time that
that the moon is between the sun and the earth. After a few days, once the moon has moved along a little in its orbit, we can begin to see some of the moon's day side from earth. What we see is just a thin slice of light called a crescent. We call it a waxing crescent because waxing means growing. The crescent moon will grow a little bit thicker every night until it reaches the next phase, first quarter. Or half moon. The first quarter moon is sometimes called the half moon because it appears to us that half of the moon is illuminated. But it is called first quarter because the moon is one quarter of the way through its cycle. As the days pass, the moon continues to grow soon entering its next phase, the waxing gibbous. Gibbous means humped or swollen, and again, we call it waxing because it grows thicker every night until it reaches the next phase, the full moon. A full moon is the biggest, brightest, and easiest phase of the moon to see. The moon rises at sunset and is up all night. So if you are outside and the sky is clear, it's hard to miss. The moon is halfway through its orbit around the Earth and is now on the opposite side of the Earth from the sun. During a full moon is the only time that a lunar eclipse can happen because that is the only time that the Earth's shadow could fall on the moon. As the moon continues in its path, it appears to shrink again as we begin to see more and more of its dark side. A few days after the full moon, the moon will be a gibbous again, but this time it's a waning gibbous. Waning means shrinking or getting smaller, and so the moon will be waning for the rest of its orbit. The next phase is another half moon, but this time it's called third quarter, or sometimes last or final quarter, because the moon is three quarters of the way through its orbit. Soon, the half moon shrinks into a waning crescent, which will continue to shrink night after night until it vanishes completely into the next new moon. Big and bright and beautiful. Different every night, but repeating the same cycle over and over. The moon is one of the best objects in the sky to observe especially for someone just getting started. The next time you look up and see the moon in the sky, take a moment and see if you can identify which phase of the moon you're seeing and try to figure out which one will come next. And that's exactly what you're going to be doing. We're going to keep track of the moon every night. So before you go to bed, or I know some of you like to howl at the moon at 8 o'clock, um, take a second and look and try to find the moon. Okay, On a clear night, you should have no problem finding the moon. Um, and see if you can identify what it is. Now, I had you um, keep two vocabulary words in the back of your brain. Okay, waxing and waning, okay? Waxing, like they said in the video, is growing, getting bigger, okay? You're seeing more and more of the moon that's lit up. Waning is shrinking or getting smaller, okay? You're seeing less of the moon. That doesn't mean, you know, the moon is just scraping off and it's chopping, you know, getting chopped up. No, it just means that you're seeing less of the moon. Okay, and sometimes it's neat, especially with the reflection of the sun. Um, even though you can only see like a little crescent of it lit up, you can still see the outline of the rest of the moon. So that was a little video about the phases of the moon and how they happen because of it, you know, revolving um, around the moon, or sorry, around the earth as it's spinning. Okay, it's rotating and revolving. We'll learn about those vocabulary words another day. But 
it is going around, as it's going around, if my hand is the earth, as it's going around the earth, okay, it's also spinning as, as well. As the earth is spinning, so is the moon going around it. Okay, so it's kind of neat. We'll learn about that um, next week, um, about the moon and the sun and the earth as well. Um, but today I just wanted you to focus on the phases of the moon. So, tonight, if you howl at the moon, okay, like I said, take a look at it and see if you can identify what it is. Is it a crescent? Like a little sliver. Is it a gibbous where you see most of the moon? Okay, do you see, is it a new moon where you see no moon at all? Um, or is it a full moon? Okay, or half moon where they said was a first quarter or um, third quarter. I'm going to tell you here in a second if it's waning or waxing. But before I do that, I have a fun phases of the moon wrap for you. Now, I'm sorry to the parents who are listening to this or who listen or who are going to listen to your child sing this, but it gets stuck in your head. Okay? We, I already listened to it and it's already stuck in my head after listening to it once. But it's a good way to kind of get the order of the phases stuck in your head, especially for Wednesday when we do our project. So this is a fun little wrap. Um, if you want to do it on your own, okay, it's called Mr. Lee Phases of the Moon Wrap. So I'm going to turn to you so you can see it. Uh, we're going to do it on here for now, but if you want to do it on your own, okay, like I said, it's called Mr. Lee Phases of the Moon Wrap. Now, it's a good wrap because not only does he talk about why the phases are important and also he talks about facts about the moon, but it really gets the phases stuck in your brain. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in a second. So... Here we go. We're going to do Mr. Lee's Phases of the Moon wrap. Let's see if I turn this off. Oh, that's a little bit better. Here we go. <laughs> First order, wax and give this, full moon, when you give this, third quarter, when you press it, those are the phases of the moon, 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 the phases of, of, of. you see in the sky, most nights, moon looking so fine, so bright, um, but it doesn't make its own light, you can see it because it reflects the sun's light. It don't really ever look the same. Eight different phases and they all have names. If you want to know why, then listen. It depends on the moon's position relative to the earth. This is how it works. New moon phase is where we start first. When the moon between the earth and sun. Look in the sky and you see none of it lit. But if you wait a bit, you slowly begin to see more of it. Until we have a toenail shaped crescent. Ain't this a great way to learn the lesson? It goes new moon, waxing crescent. First order, wax and give this. Full moon, when you give this. Third quarter, waning crescent, those are the phases of the moon, those are the phases of the moon, those are the phases of the moon, those are the phases of the moon. And we slowly start to see more, till we at the first quarter, one fourth. And even though it's looking half lit, it's a quarter way gone around its orbit. Now let's get down to business. The next phase up is called a waxing gibbous. If the right side lit up, you know it's waxing. Think about the first letter in relaxing. And we keep on moving to the full moon. All lit up, pretty like a showroom. The sun, earth, moon lined up in a straight line. So the whole side lit up most of the time. Except the lunar eclipse when the moon is under. The shadow of the earth that we call a penumbra. The rest is pretty much the same. Reverse the order, change wax to wane. New moon, 
Waxing present, first order. Waxing give this, full moon. Waiting give this, third quarter. Waiting present, those are the phases of the moon. 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 Phases of the Faces of the moon. Faces of the moon. The moon takes 29.5 days to change from the first to the last phase. Its gravitational pull causes our tides, along with the sun, low and high. Apollo 11, first man on the moon, yeah, US repping. Now try to identify the phase of the moon that you see in the sky. All right, so a fun little wrap for you to remember the phases of the moon. Um, like I said, it's going to get stuck in your head the more you listen to it, um, but it's a great way to, like I said, learn the phases of the moon and then along with some facts as well. So, like I said in that video as well, oh, does more than catch errors started playing. Like I said in that video as well, make sure you do take a look at the sky. Now I'm going to show you a cool website um, that you can go to to track the moon. It's got like a moon calendar to see what the moon um, was last night and what it's going to be. So what you can do is, I'm going to show you what it was last night. Okay, and what you can do is you can go out in the sky or go out tonight and look in the sky and see if you can identify it. Now, the moon is waning, okay, because we had a, a week ago or so we had a full moon. So the moon is now waning. It's, it's shrinking, okay. Um, and I'm going to turn you so you can see. Okay, so this was last night, April 19th which was last night, and last night it was a waning crescent. So you can see the part of the moon that's lit up, okay, a waning crescent. It says that only 11% of the moon was lit up, okay. The night before on the 18th, 18% uh, of it was lit up, 26%. So you can see every night it's getting smaller and smaller. So if it's getting smaller, what do you think tonight is going to be? Okay, it's going, it already was a waning gibbous, now it's a waning crescent, and we're getting close to it being a new moon, meaning there's going to be no, none of the moon is going to be lit up. So you can see 11% of the moon was lit up last night. Okay, so think about what it's going to be tonight. Okay, so it doesn't go from a waning gibbous to a waning crescent to a new moon right away. Okay, it's in that phase for a few nights. Okay, so it was a waning gibbous for a few nights as it got smaller and smaller. Then it hit the crescent point, or sorry, the half moon. Then it hit the crescent, and now it's going to get closer and closer to a new moon. So this website, turning around one more time, okay, is a good one. It is moongiant.com phases. So if you go to moongiant.com and you click on the um, today's moon phase, or moon phase calendar, okay, it'll show you the phases of the moon. And it's pretty cool. And you can check um, to see if you were right if you go to that website. So again, moongiant.com. And if you go to moon phase calendar, <clears throat> it'll show you the phases of the moon on each day of the week. So that is it for today. Like I said, it was just a day of just watching and kind of taking it all in. Um, the phases of the moon, I encourage you, I'm sorry, but I encourage you to play uh, the rap again and kind of listen to it, especially the phases part to get that kind of stuck in your head. But again, the facts that go along with it are great facts as well and very accurate facts. Um, so that is it for today. Make sure, uh, remember your special was computers, get outside and play. It is beautiful. The sun is shining. Um, so make sure you do get outside and play. 
and I will see you later, Smarties. Make sure you learn those phases. So on Wednesday when we do our project with Oreos, okay, you know the phases to help you with the project. So bye for now, Smarties.